What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 50 minute lower body and abs sculpt workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. that you're here today for our legs and abs workout. I do have just a couple things to get set up for you, but I'm so pumped to have you here. Let's go ahead and get you started, okay? So, water bottle and a sweat towel, of course. I also have my bench out here for some step ups today. So if you have something to step up onto, a bench, a box, your stairs, something safe, grab that, pull it out near you, okay? Also, for dumbbells, we're gonna be doing things all the way down from my 10 pound dumbbells probably up to my 40 pound dumbbells. Okay, we have Romanian deadlifts and a glute bridge at the bottom of the workout, so closer to the end. So just know we'll have ranges of motion from squat to glute bridge, okay? So, very excited to jump into this with you. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up when you are done, and let's rock into the workout, okay? All right, hinging forward in three, two, one, let's go. Good, we've got a 50 minute workout today. I want to make sure you get out of here right on time, but first, we work hard together. Okay, from this second forward, don't hold back. Don't come into the workout thinking, I gotta go slow until the end and then I'll turn it up. Go hard now, you're gonna get so much more out of the workout, okay? Two, and one, bring your feet in just a little bit closer. Let's go just slow squats. Opening up your hips, sitting back into your heels, and then push out of the bottom. Good, two, and one. Perfect, heels to the glutes. Great job. Work your arms with it. Get a good quad stretch here. So today we're gonna operate in supersets, two exercises at a time, a leg exercise and an ab exercise. I'll provide modifications up here for every move that there is a modification for. I believe there's only two where there's not really a modification. So, come out to the front, wide stance, let's go. So for everything, you will know a body weight option or a smaller range of motion option. Okay, take those when you need them. That's why they're there, to make sure you can stay going through this workout. Three, two, one and hands down. Let's kick it back to a plank position. All right. Good. Pull your core in. Get your abs flexed. Get your body comfortable with everything activating. And lower your hips down to the floor. Lift your chest up. Let's twist just a tiny bit. There you go. Perfect. Pike it up to the top. Put your heels down onto the floor. Stretch the back of your legs. Great job. Swing your right leg up right beside your right hand. Slowly lift your chest up. There we go. Coming right up into standing in a lunge. And let's take that back knee down and up. There you go. Nice and wide. So if you need to scoot it in just a bit more, that's okay. Okay, what you're thinking about is a squat in this front leg. One more and then we'll switch. Good, come on up, switch legs. Good, two, one, and let's go ahead and get into it, okay? First exercise is a front squat, okay? We're gonna go for two dumbbells. All right, I'm gonna go for my 20s, okay? Right here at the front. All right, you're gonna sit back and down. Come up with some power, okay? Body weight is an option. We'll go in seven seconds. You can also, for a little bit more stability, tap or sit down onto your bench, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, and I like to breathe in before I sit. Breathe out as I stand. Good job, you got just about 15 seconds left, and then we go to some core, okay? A little ab work. Eight, seven, six, 
seven. Four, three, two, one. Come on down. Good. All right, we've got a seated tuck. Okay, so open it up. Legs are out, arms are out. Tuck it in here. To modify, you're gonna take one leg, keep it down. Okay, modification is there. Let's go together in three. Ready? Two, one. Open, touch your tailbone back onto the floor. Tuck right over top of it. Good, nice control on the open. Almost there, 14, 13. Six, five, four, two, one. Beautiful, and we're back to your front squat, okay? We're gonna add a little two second pause at the bottom of this one. Okay, so sit down, hold one, two, come up with power. All right, restarting that speed, really helpful for leg strength, okay? So let's go here in three, two, one, here we go. Good, watch the clock if you need to. One, two, and up. Good, maintain your form as well. Nice work, let's go, let's go. You got eight, seven, three, two, one, rest, all right, good. Okay, we're back, seated tucks. And these should be very accessible for all fitness levels, okay? One leg down if you need to. Good job. Here we go in five, three, two, one, and we're up. Something you can do to step it up if you want. Tilt it out so you're reaching a little bit to one side. Tuck in, out, in. Okay, that's an option. We're just stay right here, squeeze and fold that back down to the floor. 14. Seven, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, last round of front squat. We're gonna tilt side to side. Okay, shifting the weight. So you're gonna go one toe down, one heel, just a little bit up. Here, here. Okay, let's go in five. Three, two, one, come on. And what I'm doing here, challenging you progressively, but also you can keep the same weight. Okay, a lot of people are very under the impression that progressive overload only happens with heavier dumbbells. Okay, you increase the challenge in any way that is progressively overloading you. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. Notice I've used the same weights all three rounds. It's gotten harder though. 10. Good, three, two, one, rest. Great work. Whew. All right. Seated tucks, you're gonna give me a little pulse flutter at the end, if you can. Okay, so you're here. One, two, tuck. All right, two, one, let's go. It's like a little fake out. You're coming in, no you're not, back out, and then come in. Good job, keep your legs strong, that always helps. If you're coming out here, it's gonna be a lot tougher. 15. Come on, last round through this set. 10. Four, three, two, one, and rest.
Yes, amazing job. Grab some water. You're doing great. All right. Next exercise. We don't need the bench yet. Still over there without the bench. We're gonna do an overhead lunge, hang clean or hang snatch. Okay, so one arm at a time. I'm gonna take left arm has the dumbbell, left leg stays, all right? So we're gonna take our dumbbell, hinge, catch. Okay, my bicep glued to my ear. This leg stays, so we're stacking. Okay, from here, I go lunge. Modification is there if you're not ready for that, okay? If you're not, you're gonna come here, catch. Okay, lunge, or to modify even further, squat. Okay, but we're just moving the left hand. Let's go in five seconds. Lunge, snatch, or clean. Okay, two, one, let's go. Good, just one leg, hinge. Hips come back forward, bicep goes to the ear. And you're still thinking about that front leg doing the work. So you sit into a squat, the front leg, stand. Good, and if you wanna just bring it right here, that's okay too. Just keep moving with me, okay? Good job. Five, four, good work. Three, two, one, and rest. Dumbbell out of the way. Whew. We're gonna go for a plank walk, okay? One end of the mat. You're dropping down, come on up, walk it down. Okay, drop down at each end of the mat and come on up. Ready, let's go. Now what helps your hips stay steady on the drop down? Wider feet, okay? There you go, keep the hips nice and tight. Beautiful, you've got 10. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful, all right. And if anything, you're just planking, plank walking, okay? Just a good extra challenge. All right, we're back. Right arm overhead or here and lunge it. Let's go. Good. You let your hips float back on that hinge, then they power forward. Watch just my hip really quick. Okay, locked out. Great work. There you go, three, come on, one more. Two, one, amazing, good job. All right, plank walking again. If you're just walking, that's fine. If you're just holding, that's fine. Okay, push yourself into what challenges you. That's why I'm here, to do it with you. Let's go. There you go. Think about your ribs, okay? Keep them in line with your hips. Don't let them point down to the ground and have your hips lift up. Keep it here, okay? Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we go both arms. So if you want to clean here and squat or lunge, that's fine. You want to go up here, lunge, back down, other leg. Okay, let's go. 
two, one, come on. Hinge, catch, just one. Good job, think of a squat in your front leg for the lunge. Okay, I'm not sitting back like I'm trying to go way back here. I'm thinking sit in a squat, okay? See from the side, looks like a squat, right? Press right up. Five, four, two, one. Great job. All right, let's plank walk it out to close out the circuit, all right? Whew. Shake your arms. Let's go, four, you're doing great. Three, two, one, come on. Nice work, think about your belly button. If your glutes are lifted away from it, pull it in. Good job, 15. That's it, that's it, you've got five, four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. Big deep breath, breathe, we've got time, don't worry. Okay, this is your rest period, so take water, a water break, towel off, just breathe for a second, okay? All right, if you would like, I'm gonna grab my medium resistance band and one dumbbell, okay? It's gonna be a sumo squat. We're gonna go sumo squat, walk down, okay? And then we're gonna go side planks. So I'm gonna take, for instance, my 30 pound dumbbell, okay? So what I'm gonna do, start here, wide sumo, okay? Go down with my outside hand, I go here. I squat, pick it up, step into the middle, squat with it, step to the side, put it down. Other hand, squat, pick it up, middle, squat, other side, squat to put it down. Then pick it up from here, okay? So you're doing a squat here, squat here, squat here. That's all that really matters, okay? You don't get the same mechanics, it's okay. Squat, squat, squat. You wanna grab a band, grab it, okay? We'll go in seven seconds, okay? I'll give you enough rest. I'm here with you. Let's go, two, one, squat to pick it up. Good, into the middle, squat, to the side, squat, and switch. Good job, just spend some time here. Good, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, rest. Good, now you can leave the band on if you want. Side plank, hip dips. Okay, you're gonna take your elbows here. Feet are down, stacked or separate. You're going here. Ready? Let's go. Good, what helps me sometimes when I start running out of steam, I go here and I think of pulling my elbow to my hip, therefore I have to lift my hip up higher. Okay, so if that would help, add that in. Good job, 15 more seconds. Eight, seven, three, one more, two, one, rest. 
Good. All right. Squat, squat, squat. Whew. You're doing great. Let's go in four, three, two, one. Grabbing with the outside hand. Squat, bring it up. Step in, sit. Step out, put it down. Same thing, outside hand. Up. sure your chest and your hips are both open so they're not here or here. Good work. Your shoulder is working, yes. So if you feel it burning, it's working. Ten. Five, three, two, one. Beautiful job. And we've got one more round of that squat walk. Whoops, I need to keep this on. <laughs> okay, one more round here. Whew, I'll start down here. We go in four, two, one. Let's go. Make sure in this middle squat, you don't dip down here or forward here, okay? Keep it up like it's sitting on a shelf that is made by your palm. <laughs> 10. Two, one. Rest, good. Whew. All right, middle plank. We're into the middle. Both elbows are hands down. Okay, we're rocking. Over, over. Whew. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Come on, keep it up. Over halfway there. Keep your elbows down. Give it a good stretch and good lift. Four, two, one, and rest. Beautiful work. <laughs> All right. You've got to rest, grab some water, just breathe. Whew. I know this is a longer workout, so trust me, I pace it that way. All right, you've got plenty of rest in between. We're working for 40 to 45, which means you can have up to 20 seconds rest in between each exercise. I know sometimes when you're in it, <laughs> that doesn't seem like a lot. I feel you there. Whew. All right, I think this next one you'll really like. Okay, this is a lateral lunge glider. So, the options here are kind of limitless, okay? I'm taking it pretty wide, wide enough to where that I can sit down on each side. Okay, if you're in here and you feel like you can only get here, you're too close. 
So go a bit wider, just enough to where you can shift over to one leg and think about sitting in a squat here, keeping your knee outward. Okay, use the glute, push up. All right, from here, if you wanna have a dumbbell, feel free. Okay, you can stand up in the middle. You can also keep it low. Push, push. You can also go body weight. Okay, you can stop here, sit here. So, options are limitless, okay? I'm gonna hold a dumbbell. I'm gonna start with a 20, okay? And we'll go in 10 seconds. We've got three rounds of this. Super set it with some leg raise, hip raise. Let's go in four, three, two, one. Sit it back and down, let's go. Good, I really want you shifting from down to up in your own power, not here rolling, okay? Not here trying to whip yourself up. Sit there, push the ground away from your heel. Keep your back nice and long and strong. Shorter blades are back there. That's it. Drive the heel away from your body. The floor pushes away via the heel. Beautiful, stay with me for 15. Six, five, four, two, one, rest, good. Leg raise, hip raise. You can do the same thing on the floor. I'm gonna show you on the bench. Okay, lifting your legs and then when you lift them up over your hips, then they go up to the sky, okay? So here, leg raise, hip raise, or on the floor, leg raise, hip raise. One leg at a time is also an option. Ready? Let's go in three, two, one, come on. And if you're doing that hip raise, do not slam back down. So go up, control down, then go again. Great job, you got about 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! Back to that lunge glider. Good job. I'm gonna go to my 25 this time. Okay, nice and wide. You're just sitting and sitting and sitting. Two, one, let's go. There you go, if you don't feel your glute firing here, your knee might be caving in a little bit, causing some knee pain, okay? Your glute needs to fire to keep this knee going outward. So right here, on the transition up, digging your heel in always activates the glute. That's why I'm always saying, dig your heels down. Five, four, Two, one, breathe, good job. Leg raise, hip raise on the bench or on the floor. One leg or two legs, it's up to you. We're using that hip upward motion, okay? Ready, two, one, let's go. Four, three, two, one, rest. 
And we've got one more round. You're doing great, guys. Whew. Just in case you didn't notice, we are over halfway through the workout, okay? Step it up if you can. We go again in three, two, one. Let's go. Sit back and push. Just keep pushing. There you go. the knees out, keep the butt going back, Whew. I'm with you, 15, seven, six, two, one, rest, good, Whew. all right, last one here, Leg raise, hip raise. Here we go. Two, one, let's go. Come on, 45 right here. This can look so different. You can go here, roll up crunch, okay? It can look like one leg down, little hop. Whatever it looks like, we go hard together, right? Good, you've got 10. Three, two, one, and rest. Another set done. <laughs> How's that? Okay, I didn't finish that sentence. <laughs> you don't have another set. We're done with that one. Another set is complete. Grab some water. <laughs> you were like, excuse me? No, no, that was three, Sydney. <laughs> okay, you're doing great. We've got about five more exercises to rock through, okay? We start off with Romanian deadlifts. I'm gonna leave this one up to you, okay? One leg, two leg, normal stance or sumo stance. If you're sumo, I suggest a little bit wider. You're gonna feel it a lot more in your glutes and the back of your hamstrings towards the lateral side versus a little bit closer. You're gonna feel more here in the medial side, okay? One leg, two leg, regular or wide. I'm gonna leave it up to you, okay? If you wanna do one leg, you can also stagger or lift, okay? That is coupled with Toe touches, weighted toe touches, okay? So I'm gonna go with my sumo stance, 30 pound dumbbells, and we're going in five seconds, okay? Let's go, we gotta keep rocking. Two, one, here we go. Good, hips go back. Think about keeping your triceps close to your lats, okay? Good, I saw something the other day, it said, act like you're pin pinching a pencil in your armpit, okay? So not letting it get here in a way, but keeping it here. See the difference? 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest, good. All right, now I'm gonna take my 20, you're just laying down flat. Toe touches, one leg at a time, okay? So we're up in the air, here. All right, little crunches. We go in three. This can also be body weight, either way. Here we go. Good, think of just getting your shoulder blades off the floor, okay? And at the same time, pulling your ribs down towards your hips. You've got 10 more seconds. And we go into round two of your deadlifts. Step it up however you would like. Three, two, one, 
All right, we're back. Deadlifts. Romanian deadlifts. However you would like to step it up. Heavier weight, maybe add a stagger. Okay, just keep this. Keep this locked right here as you hinge back. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's get it. Good. You feel the stretch and then you squeeze. When you get to the back, don't just try and stand up with your back. Okay, you get back there and you're stretched. Now you squeeze those glutes in. 10. Three, two, one. Rest, good. All right, we're back to your toe touches. Only the right leg this time. Okay, sweaty back, noise prevention tool here. Anyone else relate to that? You know what it sounds like when your back is sweaty and you're doing crunches? <laughs> I'll spare you that. <laughs> All right, right leg only, let's go. Two, one, here we go. Now this can be the other leg floats, which is more challenging. They can also be here. As long as you're getting those shoulder blades up, Mission accomplished. Good work, come on. Whew. Another way to do it, if your neck is getting tired, keep it in one hand, support with one hand. Okay, keep those shoulder blades rising. Two, one, rest, all right. Here we go, last round of deadlifts. Whatever this looks like for you. Heavier weight, stagger, or you just keep rocking. Whatever it looks like, let's go, okay? Push yourself, keep the back here, okay? Reach, squeeze. Two, one, let's go. Great job. Almost there, come on, 15. Four, two, one, good. All right, left leg only, we're crunching up to that left leg. And then we move on. We've got some glute bridges up next, so. A good one to look forward to. All right, left leg. Here we go. Three, two, one, we're up. This can be here or here. Exhale to lift. Think of your abs squeezing your ribs down closer to your hips. And then slowly releasing them. Five. Give me two more. And rest. Great job. Another set done. That puts us through five sets. Okay, Whew. we've got two more. Glute bridges. All right, so glute bridges can be shoulders on the bench, shoulders on the floor, okay? Whatever way you decide to do it, you're going hinge down, squeeze up, okay? Same thing on the floor, you can add a resistance band to your knees, you can add a dumbbell to your legs here. Okay. Whatever you choose, let's go ahead and get that ready. All right. I'm gonna go with my heavy glute resistance band. I'm telling you, if you don't have one of these, it makes things spicy. All right. Let's go together in three, 
two, one, let's go. Good, if you're on the bench, make sure you're not here, okay? You're here like you're holding a tennis ball right under your chin. You're holding it there. You've got four, three, two, one, and have a seat, good job. We're just going into crunched up high crunches, okay? So this is just literally a pulse. You're here, okay? Let's go in three, two, one. Okay, you're not pulling your head. Put your fingertips on the edges of your ears, okay? Good, keep it going. Little crunches. You're so different. Kind of ignorant. You don't care what people say, people say, people say. You're right there, you got seven. Three, two, one, good. And we're back to the glute bridge. Lay it on down. Let's go, come on, you're doing great. Seven, three, two, one, let's go. Good work, come on, come on. Keep squeezing at the top. You know all the metaphors I'm gonna say, right? Holding on to money on a windy day. <laughs> Turning coal into diamonds. This is a hungry, hungry hippo example for sure. Down and relax, pull it in, <sighs> crunch and squeeze. Four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. All right. Round two of the glute bridge is done. We've got that just high crunch. Just crunching it out. Five seconds. Ready, three, two, one. Let's go. Crunch, open. Think less about rounding your spine and more about getting that middle upper spine off the floor. Think about shoving your chest through the middle of your thighs. There you go. That's it, give me 10 more seconds. Two, one, all right. Last round here, come on. Let's go, get ready. You're doing great. Five, big squeeze. The best squeeze all day. Two, one, let's go. Good, 15 more seconds. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, rest, and let's go. Last round, little tiny crunches. Whew. Almost there, we're almost there guys, come on. Legs up. Two, 
One, let's go. Good. Just think spine up, spine upwards. Good. Let's go. Push through that burn. You've got 15 more seconds. Seven. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Oh boy. <laughs> Great job. We're going to finish it out with three rounds of step ups. Okay? That's it. Three rounds of step ups. So, whatever weights you would like to use, grab them. Okay? I'm going to go here so I can look at you a little bit easier in the clock. <laughs> so, I'm not making you go over at all. Okay? We're going to go in. 15 seconds. I'm going to start with my 30s. Okay. Alternating all three rounds. Up left, down left. Up right, down right. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Let's go in five, four, just right here, just like this. Two, one, let's go. Make sure you're digging your heel into the bench or the box or whatever you're pushing off of not just your toe, okay? Heel drive. Remember, pinching pencils between your armpits to keep that chest up, to keep the back strong. 10. Two, one, good. All right, if you can go heavier, let's do it. If you can get more reps in in the time period, let's do it. Or if you're using body weight, I'm gonna add a little jump hop here. Feel free to do that as well. Round two, let's go. Right up, okay, straight up from the floor. Hips are behind your heel. You're pressing until your hips are over top your heel, not here. Here, just like in a deadlift. You don't just come to here, right? Go all the way up. That's it, hip over the heel. Push until the hip is over the heel. 10. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. 15 seconds, last round. I'm gonna listen to my body, not go up and wait again. I think if I go up and wait, my back will start to round. Good technique over everything, okay? Keep pushing. Two, one, let's go, last round. Beautiful. Let's go. Come on. You and me. We've got this. Push hard. This is the last 15 seconds. Six, five. One more each leg, okay? Three, two, one, and rest. You've made it to your cool down. Amazing job. Let's move right into that stretch. Don't leave. Whew. Now, I'll wait till the end to do the quad stretch. Let's go right here, hands on your thighs. Flatten your back out. Fill your lungs up. Good, fill them up wide. One more, fill them up nice and wide. See how big you can fill up your lungs. Expand the ribs. And exhale. Down to your hands and knees. Great job. Walk your hands forward, hips down. 
Look up. Give me a good pressure here on your low back. I am so proud of you today. Very proud of you for how hard you've worked this week. I want you to know it, it does not go unnoticed. I know these workouts are getting progressively more challenging. That's intentional because I need to show you how strong you are, okay? You might complain, you might say things to me that you wouldn't say to me in person behind the TV. As long as you keep going, I'm proving to you that you are stronger than you think you are, okay? Shift your hips back. That's my whole mission. I'm writing a, a speech for a pretty big uh, public speaking engagement. And I was talking in the beginning of my speech about how some people might think personal trainers or people in the fitness industry are a bit sadistic and they like watching people go through pain. But for me, it's all about that journey from start to finish and everything in the middle. Okay, tuck your toes down, lift your hips up. It's proving to you that you show up, you figure out how to get through this, and through it you discover your own resilience. Okay, along the way, yes, I want you to feel yourself getting stronger. Yes, I want you to reach your goals. But afterwards, I want you to look back and say, I subjected myself to something that was hard, and I figured out how to get through it. Not whether or not I was going to, but I figured out how. That's resilience. Bend your knees, slowly come on up, and that's what it's all about. Okay, pull your heel to your glute. If you need to grab onto a wall, go ahead. It's about that. It's about you stepping up to the plate and you saying, there's no question that I'm here. I'm gonna do this workout, okay? It's not if I will do it. It's not can I do it. It's let me figure out how I'm gonna do it. How do I get through it? Maybe you depend on my energy. Trust me, I depend on knowing that you're there as well. Okay, maybe you're doing this for a big goal. Switch legs. Maybe you're doing this for something that is uh, to prove something to yourself, to feel more valuable, to feel more confident, to feel stronger. Something, you're doing this for something, right? And that's personal to you. It's gotta be something that means a lot to you. But you show up here and you figure out how to get through it. All right, hands on your tailbone, gentle push forward. You may show up and say, well, motivation's not there, that's okay. You may show up with a lot on your plate, and that's everyone right now. Okay, I can assure you that you're not alone in that. But the big thing for me is just like I was writing in my speech, it's not sadistic, it's not that I enjoy people experiencing misery. I think I quoted it, I'm not trying to push people to the depths of their self-doubt or to the front lines of their fears, but I'm trying to convince you, look at what you have in front of you, you're gonna figure out how to do it, and then you're gonna look back when you're done saying, I did that. I experienced my own resilience. I demonstrated my own strength. That's what it's about, okay? So keep showing up. Challenges are gonna keep coming forever and ever, amen. And if things are easy and things are very uh, complacent, you're not ready to, you're not stepping up to the next best version of yourself, okay? So it's going to keep coming. You just have to know this is me showing myself how resilient I am, how to get stronger. Okay, how to dive into something that's fearful maybe, how to dive into a place where I doubt myself maybe and just figure out how to get through it. And we just do it together, okay? So thank you for getting through this with me. Thank you for figuring out how to rock through it for your best workout, okay? That's all I ever ask is you never give up, okay? So make sure if you're done here and you crush this workout with me, you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that so, so much. And guys, check out everything in the description below. I love you, I'm so, so proud of you, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Just watch me.